There was swimming and there was prawning on the lake, and then there was the Progress Hall. It was the centre of the community. The movies played there, there were dances on Saturday nights, and most couples held their wedding breakfast there. My father was the secretary of the Progress Hall, and he ran the dances. My job was to keep the floor shiny so the shoes could move, even though I wasn't allowed to go because I was too young. In 1953, the Christian Endeavour Group was about to begin at the Progress Hall. I was 15 and this time I really wanted to go. So my mother and I asked my father. He said, you can go if there are no boys in long trousers. <laughs> I'll never forget he said that because on the first day there, I met a boy in long trousers. His name was Charlie and he became the love of my life. We married three years later. When we were dating, my father told Charlie sternly that he was to bring me home when we went out. We went to the movies at Port Kembla most weeks and Charlie lived at Port Kembla so you can imagine the travelling he did by bus and by push bike when he missed the last bus home. He must have thought I was worth it because he kept coming to visit. Thank goodness he did. I had spent most of my time as a child playing and swimming on the lake, but now it was different. On Sundays, Charlie and I would go for long walks around Lake Lawarra, and this is where we planned our future, our house, our family. We talked for hours, and we spent a lot of time daydreaming. The lake was our freedom. When we had children, Charlie would take the kids on the boat, and they would go fishing on the lake. In 2003, Charlie was diagnosed with liver cancer. On Christmas Eve, he began chemotherapy. Now it was the children and the grandchildren who took Charlie fishing on the lake. When he was sick, fishing on the lake helped him to forget about his cancer. Sadly, I lost my guy with the long trousers, but I have my memories of the best times of my life. <laughs>